Hey guys, welcome back. Now this next video, it was filmed a couple months ago. It features some disembodied voices. Um, now some of these, I'm, you know, people ask me, can you hear these voices when you're out at, you know, cemeteries or out at abandoned places and, and things like that? And to be honest with you, no, I can't. And it's really upsetting because I don't hear them in real time. It's only when I go in post-production that I actually, you know, can hear them. Anyway, this is a blacksmith shop. Um, if you guys are interested in it, you when you come out here, you can actually, when you come to my asylum, you can actually see this too. All right, back to my video. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, Fort Meg's video. Make sure I get that right. Um, oh, what's this? Hang on. See if you guys can see in there. Oh, it's a humongous wheel. Okay. Okay, that's good. It's called the Powder House. The Power House. Okay. Oh, I'm behind everything. Oh, God. Here, you guys need to see all this, too. So, if you like antique equipment, this is probably the place you need to come. <clears throat> Okay. Well, anyway, back to my video. This is a Fort Meg's video. Um, this was filmed a couple months ago. <clears throat> yeah, I just filmed it because I was bored one day. I was bored one day, got it home, and discovered, hey, this place is haunted. And that's another thing I'm going to bring up. Just because you go online and you read that... You know, everybody says these places are haunted and things like that. No, it's not always the case. No, it's just somebody putting out an article that they want you to read and stating something's haunted and it's not really even haunted. Like this place, for instance, it's supposed to be haunted. It may or may not be haunted. I don't think it is, but... And I've been here a few times and haven't really caught anything. Okay, now, my Fort Meg's video. God, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, my Fort Meg's video was filmed a couple months ago. Um, it, um, it was filmed during the daytime. And this is one of those classic explorers where, you know, something's haunted. It's haunted during the daytime, at nighttime, you know, during the month of June, you know, when it's raining. It's going to be haunted, okay? It doesn't have to be at night. Um, yes, it might be more active at night. It might be more active, but, you know, you, it's going to be haunted regardless, day or night. Okay? Uh, this is one of those places. Now, Fort... <laughs> man, I always stumble on this. Fort Meg's is from the... Uh, it's, it was built back in the 1700s. It's a wooden structure. It's an old fort. It's a wooden structure. In fact, it's the largest wooden structure in the state of Ohio. And it's the third. Oh, I just seen a rabbit. Oh, I couldn't get the picture. Anyway, it's the third largest in the country. Hello, if you're back here, you can give me a sign. You can talk to me if you like. See if I can walk back here. Mm, this is where they house the leftover. The leftover farm equipment, I guess. Or that they're not using. Look at this. Boat. I guess. Yeah, boat. <laughs> it really sounds like there's an animal up there. Hello? Is that you? Whoa really sounds like something's up there oh what's okay right now I'm behind everything 
I'm going where people don't go. I mean, there's probably animals or something up there. Trees. Okay, now back to my Fort Megs video. Now, it was filmed in the middle of winter. It's like minus 20 degrees. Not really, it's probably, it's probably 20 degrees though. <clears throat> Okay, into my, and I filmed it during the day, and I was shocked when I got the, when I started doing, you know, when I started editing the video, I was actually shocked. And it was one of my first videos that when I actually came down here, you know, I filmed it on a, I think it was a Saturday morning, afternoon or something, and uh, yeah, I was actually shocked, and I wasn't expecting to, you know, get the footage I got so enjoy the video it's kind of long enjoy the video subscribe if you like the video you know you want to comment feel free to comment I know there's stuff I've left out of it just for the simple fact is on my videos I can't you know I can't catch all the disembodied voices or EVPs I can't catch everything and that's where you come in being the viewer you can actually interact with me by commenting down below um okay now with all that being said let's get to the video watch the video come back and i'm gonna show you my pestilence house right there i'm gonna end my video right there at the pestilence house the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i will fear no evil for thou art with me goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever okay guys today we're at Fort Meigs uh, cemetery it was the largest boarded up fort in America it's over 10 acres it was built to protect the Maumee River in Ohio um, excuse me, but it's really cold outside, and I'm freezing, I'm from Texas, and I'm here in Ohio in the middle of winter, trying to show you some of this stuff. The fort was 10 acres, it was built in 1813, February of 1813, um, so it's... 206 years old it was built to protect the Maumee River from the British because Ohio used it as a way to get supplies here so anyway let's get to the video um, it's kind of creepy out here there's nobody else out here it is the middle of the day um, it's 23 degrees outside. I've got a jacket on, a sweater, and a shirt, if y'all can see that. Um, regular blue jeans and regular boots. And I know my boots aren't going to hold up to the snow that's out here. It's currently snowing right now, and you'll probably see it later. Um, but right now, I wanna check out this mausoleum that's locked. And the oldest part of the cemetery, I think it's the oldest part. So we should see some old uh, graves. But they got some really nice stuff out here. The newer part is across the street. I haven't even seen Fort Meg's. It's not open. So we're gonna have to uh, save that one for a different time. I hear it's one of the five most haunted forts in America. But in the meantime, let's check this out. Let me turn my car off. Let's just go check this out real quick. Oh, so. Okay, let's see. Um, more snow. 
Let's just look inside. It's locked. Oh, yeah. It's where uh, the... the uh, I don't know. But it's locked. Maybe there's a side door. Maybe I can go inside door. Can you guys see in there? Let me look around the side. Let me put my gloves on. Because I know it's going to get super cold. Let's check out some of these... Uh, headstones oh god oh god if you can see that i'm already sinking i'm already sinking i do not know what this is this looks like the top of something i'm gonna go over here and check it out real quick see it looks like i'm on top of something i do not know i'm kind of scared that's a good drop that's a good drop and it's slippery. I don't know what's down there. I'm really itching to find out. Oh, there's like a... Oh, I'm going down there. Hang on. Let me figure, find a way down. Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm standing on something. Oh, there's another one. Man, I don't want to fall. You know what? I'm going to... I don't know what this is. There's a marker or... What is this? I can't even read it. I can't even read it. Okay. Here is something. I don't know what it is. Look. Um, 18, it says 1882. I don't know if you can make that out. But it's got an iron door here hello it's sealed up there's concrete it's sealed up behind this door behind this door it's sealed with concrete so nobody's getting into it this is the river I know nothing about this area maybe we'll get some wildlife Okay, let me go back up here. Get back to the cemetery part of it. I don't... Mausoleum? I don't know. It looks pretty old. Looks pretty old. And the first one's down there. Actually, let's go up over here. Kind of like a trail. God. Okay, here's one. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 1880 to 1912. This is it. Well, look at this. What is this? Oh, he's a mason. Here, I'm going to clean this off for him. It's a mason. All right, what is this? I don't know what the symbol is. It's pretty worn. Two hands shaking, maybe? Pretty nice. It looks like a, um, yeah, it's like a, um, a cabin. Here's an 1816. 1890 it's like a family it's like a family here creepy trees but this is a lot of them this is uh the union fort meigs I guess I'm saying that right. It's Fort Meigs Union Cemetery. And there looks like, across that river, looks like another section of this. And there is nobody out here. I saw one car earlier, but there's nobody out here. It's super cold out here. My hands are already freezing. Got my $3 gloves on. 
good thing Brandy bought me this jacket. Actually works. <sighs> okay, I pulled up to the office. I'm still trying to get warm. Um, I guess this is the newer part of the cemetery. It's broken up across, uh, across the street. I don't know. There might be a couple parts, but this looks like. No. But anyway, I'm at the office. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try to talk to him. Doesn't really look like anybody's here. But yeah, I want to go in and talk to him and see if I can get the correct history on this place. I doubt if anybody's here, but I'm gonna check. I knocked. I don't think anybody's here. It says Monday through Friday till three. Maybe I just missed them. Since I'm here, let's go check out some of the uh, graves. I'll put my hoodie back on because it'll keep cold real quick. Oh, big pile of snow. Uh, I guess I gotta go walk through it. So here we go. Oh god. Deep deep. Oh deep. Okay, I'm back on the road. We are blessed by your smile and your love. Say. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. A table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's really quiet out here. Really quiet out here. Somebody's already been out here. I can tell. I can see foot, footprints. I'm walking on the only piece of grass there is right here. It's funny how we've been getting snow and there's patches of grass. I haven't even really seen. I know the grass is a little bit different than, say, in Texas. It's weird. see a moonlight night through pine trees a sunset our first snowfall think of me I'll always be near and never be on your reach our family will forever remain in our hearts yeah that's another thing you know I'm 1200 miles away from my family and this is what I'm doing I'm out at a freaking cemetery middle of January we're supposed to get a blizzard this weekend or a storm. I miss my family. Alright guys, we're probably just gonna 
blow this one off, I head back to my car, save some of my battery for me to charge. Hmm. Why is there straw right here? Why is there straw right here? Hang on, let me see if y'all can see this. There's straw right there on the ground. From the beach to the Baltic. Northern France, Battle of the Bulge, Central Europe, and Rhineland. He also earned a Bronze Star Presidential Citation. Uh, what does that say? The Netherlands Resistance Cross. The Belgian something World War II. The Medal of Metz. Medal of Verdun. He was a Knight of the Legion of Hanoi. He, Medal of something else. Oh man. He really, uh, he was born in 1919, passed away in 2011. Thank you for your service. And he's well decorated. Passed away in June 20th, 2013. If I had a flower for every time you made me smile and laugh, I'd have a garden to walk in forever. It's got their pictures down at the bottom. So cold. Uh-oh. I don't know what this is, but it looks like pellets, poop, deer poop. I don't know. Let me see. You can see that. I don't know. Maybe a deer or something. They tell you not to feed the deer out here they don't want deer poop i guess out here so don't feed the deer <laughs> i don't want to walk through the snow so i'm gonna bolt through the street or to this little road whatever don't walk back to my car oh uh, chimes where are they i'm looking in the trees i don't see no chimes i heard them Oh, stepping in between graves. Okay, I'm on the road. I should go ice skating. It's really cold. Um, it must have dropped a couple degrees. Last time we checked, it was what, 23, 26, 24? It's really cold. Uh, all right, I mean, let's just walk on back. Not bad. I really can't believe I'm out in Ohio. Middle of winter, January, middle of January, dead of winter. It's so freaking cold. Oh. There's something right here. Maybe I'll just walk over here. Maybe it's a, I don't know, a memorial thing. Maybe it's. Let's just see what it says. Walk over here real quick. I don't know. If you guys can see across the street. Across the street. That's where we were. Uh, I'd like to go back over there. Maybe I don't know what this is. And this is pretty extravagant. Uh, let's 
say. Here, let me let y'all look. It's pretty cool, I guess. There's nothing out here, though. It's just this. I don't know if it's... I don't know. A shrine to, you know... I will go out here, though. Because I can't really say his name. Or their name. Family name. Whatever. Casper uh, Zach. It's pretty, uh... This is, ooh, what's that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Those lines? What is this? I don't know. It's like I can almost imagine fire coming out of the top of it. Which would be awesome. How awesome would that be? Walk around. See if there's anything on the other side. I doubt it. Oh, no. Well, obviously it's been here a while, so you can tell. It's starting to grow algae. It's pretty cool. Ooh, can't go too fast. All right. Since I'm out here, I want to check out the actual fort that's not open. So if you come out here, you need to come out here when it's actually open. That's from April to October or something. And that goes for other places too, like Waverly Hills. If the places are cold, I've noticed that if the places are cold around here, don't try getting in on the winter months. Wait until summer. Uh, but as for me, I'm going to warm up. And I'll see you guys in a minute, I guess. The fort was, uh, be they began construction of the fort in February of uh, 1813 uh -huh. um, when the War of 1812 was going on in the region. Uh, at that point, the British controlled everything north of the river. And so this was going to be the uh, sort of assembly area for the American army that was then going to try and take back Michigan and then invade Canada. Okay. So there were two battles here, okay. uh, two significant battles. There was some skirmishing, of course, uh, that went on too. The first one, uh, first siege happened in May of 1813, uh, and that went on for about 10 days. And then the second one uh, happened in July. The British uh, failed to take the fort in the first siege in May. They left, they came back in July um, and uh, attempted to take it again. Uh, and failed again, and that was the end of the major fighting in the area. Well, the fighting in this in this uh, part of the country really started right when the war started in June of 1812, and lasted all the way through to the end of 1830. Yeah, so there was about a year and a half of really significant combat going on in the, in the Northwest Ohio, Michigan. Soldiers that died here mm -hmm. were buried on the. Okay, I just I forgot. I left my keys at the house, and, and now the door's locked. So, nah, I can't get in. So, this is my pestilence house. If you don't know what a pestilence house is, it's if you had infectious diseases, uh, or communicable diseases, um, such as the flu or scarlet fever, okay, they would house you over here, make sure, you know, you didn't infect anybody else. And, Right here is my insane asylum, okay? Give you a little view of that. Um, we'll do more videos in here later on. But I kind of want to show you the grounds a little bit. So if you ever do come here, feel free. Feel free to uh, check out my house. Okay, and right next to my house is the infirmary. This place is massive, okay? I don't know exactly, I can't give you no details on it because I haven't really done the history of it, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me take you around the front. Now call disembodied voices what you will. Some call them demonic, some call them angelic, but make no mistake, they're trying to communicate. The question is, are you listening? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please hit that like button subscribe to the channel next week i'm gonna bring you a special guest along with another nighttime explorer and you can get a good look at the at the infirmary that's behind me